Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our next donation deck, which is going to be Jeskai Wizards. This one looks to be like a pretty interesting one to go ahead and try out. So basically what we have here is we have a tribal deck that is based around a ton of creatures with enter the battlefield effects. So we're playing a lot of wizards that do stuff whenever they enter the battlefield. And uh, therefore, our kind of central part of our deck is going to be N Naban, Dean of Iteration. So this says if a wizard enters the battlefield under your control, causing a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. That's a lot of triggers and abilities and all that. So basically, it means that all these things double down. So a trickster will tap two creatures. Viachino Pyromancer will deal 4 damage upstairs. Get to Journey Mage will deal 4 damage upstairs. If you're not really familiar with this common from Dominaria, this is just like Viachino Pyromancer that you see in the red decks. It enters and deals 2 upstairs. This does the same thing. Enters, deals 2 upstairs. It does have the clause that you do need to control another wizard, though, so it doesn't always deal 2. So you don't see this card played as much. Um, Water Trap Re Weaver, kind of similarly to Trickster, where you see Trickster played a lot, Weaver not played as much, it costs an extra mana, and it, it does not have Flash, but it does tap something for, uh, you know, throughout an entire turn cycle, though. And uh, Mirror Image is pretty pretty interesting. So, like, this can just copy any of our creatures. Obviously, you don't, don't want to copy Nabon, because Nabon is uh, legendary, but we can just have this enter as a wizard, because it enters as any of these cards we also have deputy detention which you could target two different things and you could you know get a whole lot of things with deputy detention so that's pretty sweet we have the storm tamers that protect our little wizards and can even uh protect deputy detention and then we have two uh, you know like legacy powerful cards like uh we have lightning bolt because we're gonna have wizards out so we're gonna have just lightning bolt that's you know, like one of the best cards in magic like ever printed and then we're also gonna have counterspell which counterspell is not even in modern you know it's just going to be you you counter target spell because we should be controlling a wizard so it should only cost two mana so two incredibly powerful cards there and then we also have the portals to uh flicker our uh creatures and get them more get more uh etb effects with them blink opponents removal maybe eat something in combat with first strike it can do some stuff there. So my biggest concern here with the deck is the uh, basically our mana. So we have 22 lands and 22 lands with three colors when you need to draw like two blue sources and you need to draw a red source and you need to draw a white source. It's it's kind of tricky. Sometimes you'll have like all your red, red white lands and, and so on. So don't have a ton of, ton of mana. And so that's something I'm a little worried about. But It'll be interesting to see how it works. Hey, what's up, Daniel? And uh, that's our deck. Now, there's only only three Wizards Lightnings in the deck. It's a little surprising, but just got the three. Let's give it a try. Yeah, with this being a donation deck, this wasn't a list that I put together. but uh, And so I have not played this before, so this is going to be first time playing this deck. But it certainly looks very interesting. Would wouldn't Siren's Ruse be easier on the mana? Possibly. You just you don't gain the first strike. possible I'm not sure I mean well I guess the answer is yes but whether it would be easier to cast so Hallowed Fountain's tough there Hallowed Fountain does let us actually play early and on curve and everything but I'm honestly just concerned about like the power level of these cards and I want spells not lands for the most part. So ditching the land even though it would help us. Because there's of course it 
another option that we'd have other lands. If we had the London Mulligan rule, we would have just been able to get rid of a Glacial Fortress and would have had the Hallowed Fountain in hand. Just played Demir Zombie Mill. Let's go with the Sulphur Falls. So for this to be an Adelie's deck, yeah, it'd have to look a lot different. You just wouldn't be playing a lot of creatures and everything if it's an Adelie's deck. I would definitely love to draw an untapped land here and be able to play the Journey Mage, because Journey Mage can block Trickster. Alright, did not do that. So I could try to, to block Trickster and then portal my own creature. I'm not sure if that's super valuable though. I'll just go ahead and just play another Storm Tamer. Hey, it's all good, Dutch. Thanks, thanks for catching the stream. The last couple days, uh, I have not been streaming as much either because the Mythic Invitational had just been streaming, you know, still till 10, but after that, and so, only been streaming three to four hours a day uh, last couple of days. And same with that tomorrow. So we'll be going from like six to ten or seven to ten around there, Eastern time. And, but then Monday we're going to make up for, we're doing a 12 hour stream on Monday. I'll just block. Doing 12 hour stream on Monday because we got to uh, 20 people purchasing Harry's, getting that really good deal there. Okay, let's go Journey Mage. I feel like Deputy's probably more important. So if one of these is going to be countered, I want it to be the Journey Mage. And then we can see if this resolves, we could see if we want to shock to have Storm Tamer be able to protect Journey Mage. Or if it doesn't, then we're just putting it in tapped. I think the most likely thing. Yeah, I don't even want to. Even if there's another trickster, I don't think I wanted to save Journey Mage. I don't I don't need a shock here. Um. Yeah, so like with Harry's in particular, what? so it'll be 12, it'll start at noon. That's the, the 12 to 12. We'll start at noon. I think it's pretty likely our opponent has a dive down. Oh, they do not. I would love our opponent to tap out and play Tempest Gen here. I would love it. Dang. Please don't counter this. Please don't counter this.
I want them to opt and scry and draw a card first. So we get the double trickster, but now I don't, you know, I'm, I'm out of cards. I don't have any answers to a Tempest Gen now. one. Uh, retort, you too late. Okay, you've been playing mono red aggro over the past week. It, it's fun, but I feel like I need to shower afterwards. <laughs> I can get countered by Siren Storm Tamer. Maybe they just let it resolve somehow. Maybe they have a three mana counter spell here. I don't know what would be a three mana counter spell because Retort only costs two. What if I wanted to retort that? Just not counter that? It didn't even give me a chance to counter that. Alright, so mono blue. Definitely want the negates and the coils. That's kind of about it. I don't think I want exclusion mage. Yeah, I guess Exclusion Mage is good against, like, the creature they have enchanted. Journey Mage is probably my... Probably a little unnecessary. Like, how do we actually attack to deal enough damage? How am I actually attacking? Yeah, it is good against enchanted things. I guess it could help us get damage in. The price of the new styles are a bit overpriced. Yeah, but they can charge it because, you know, we'll pay it, so... So I guess it's not overpriced. People, people will pay it. Um, you know, I certainly wish that they were cheaper. I spent 15,000 gems and I don't have that many cards. and It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think... I agree. I, that's... The statement here is I feel like this deck needs card draw engine and I kind of agree it seems like we don't have we don't have enough gas we don't have okay, we don't have like after we played Naban and Trickstar our opponents like how do we actually get 20 damage in when our opponents can like continue to draw cards and stuff But I agree, the the card advantage in the deck is the hardest, or is like the most glaring issue currently. Well, Naru Meha is very expensive. Like, doesn't it... 
Because it's four mana for the three three flash. Doesn't it like copy a spell that you already cast? So you have to like cast a spell and then also cast Naru Meha just to copy that spell. Right? Doesn't that how that works? Isn't that how that works? We have to get damage when we can. Okay, they don't have the, the trickster to block it. Oh, she gives plus one, plus one to all wizards, though? That's pretty good. That's certainly good. Huh. They did have that and did not want to trade with Naban. I want my opponent to fight over this negate here. Dang. So I could certainly upkeep the Trickster. Kind of wanted to see if they were going to play anything, though. So they did get that extra card. Oh no, it's going to be tough to, to win and get enough damage in, honestly. Just gonna have so many more cards than us. Early winning by blocking here. See if they have yet another dive down. Hopefully not. Ugh. Yeah, I could see playing some Niv Mizzet. Get a Dragon Wizard up in here. Our 22 land deck. Basically, what we've kind of learned here is that Mono Blue is a lot better version of our same deck. They have bigger creatures. They have a lot better card advantage. They have better interaction. They're more consistent with their mana. They don't have to take any damage from it or anything. Don't have to have a bunch of tap lands like we had the first game. They just... It looks like we're kind of doing the same thing, but a lot worse than they're doing. Like, I don't... We don't really have anything over them, except for direct damage. Be kind of tough to Fit Curious Obsession in, in our deck as well.
We do have more fun. That's true. We're, we're doing something different. I hope we don't face this matchup again. I want to face... I definitely want to face a different matchup. Because this one, we just get outclassed. So if we face a different matchup, we have a chance. I don't really know what kind of card advantage we could really put in the deck. I do like the sideboard of Johnny's. I don't know if that's something we could... I know it's not direct card advantage, but, you know, sizing and everything. Chart, of course, would certainly be a, a good option there. Both five power. All right, let's let's try a different match before we really decide anything like that. We could have cards like Lyra in the sideboard to help out in those kind of matchups. Lyra is certainly an all-star. Even though we have, like, Trickster and Water Tap Weaver that can do some tapping, we don't have ways... We don't have, like, any way to have our creatures deal more damage than, like, two when they're attacking. So dealing 20 is kind of tough. Okay, I like the Retort. It's possible that Unclaimed Territory is okay in that Merfolk deck. I'm just going to take the trade and have Deputy clean up a bigger target. If I go via Shino and, like, basically I could just throw out Storm Tamer and have Retort, or I can go via Shino and Storm Tamer. I think we'll do the two. Alright, good night, King Toll. Definitely a good sign for us. Our opponent not playing anything here. We're, now we get to start attacking in for three each turn with this retort available. So this is... So this is good. We're in a good position. Alright, now we'll take that. Now we have four power on the battlefield. We'll counter the next thing. I think we'll gain a little bit of life. We'll counter that. Ooh. Okay. We are doing it. That's a good draw. They play a blocker or even two. We get to take them out. No blocking for you. No blocking for you. Alright, down to two. 
Better not have like a fiery cannonade over there. All right. So what if we should just be playing these uh, Johnnies? Johnny seems pretty good. Naban's okay, Naban's okay, but I'm not sure if I really like having the four. Because, you know, drawing a second Naban doesn't do a whole lot. I'm going to cut the Storm Tamers in this matchup. Doesn't really seem like our opponent is... Um, ...targeting our stuff too much. Can I play a Johnny? Probably not. Probably need to play Coil. Yeah, I think Charter Course would be good. I think that, I think, um, don't know exactly where it goes, but yeah, Charter Course could certainly be a good option. This is basically two mana, like tap something or bounce something. If they're not really playing removal, so they'll probably have some removal though here. Play like two of these. Get the extra two of those in. All right, We've got a game. Let's get a match. Okay. Okay. We can do some stuff here. We can do some stuff here. Ooh. I cannot target the Spellbreaker on their turn, unfortunately. So I'll just play this, though, and coil that. All right, time to start sneaking some damage in. Omen Speaker, yeah, so Omen Speaker doesn't doesn't really help us. We're not playing Yep if We're not playing uh, Whatever it's called spells Hey, yo silver with the twitch prime sub. Oh I think that's oh, yeah that came up earlier right didn't that come up earlier? Yeah. So it was just a, a redo. MTG bot does. Yeah, it does that sometimes. Okay, well. So we... Are we actually killing them before they kill us? No! That's bad. I needed that to stay alive, because I needed to, like, next turn before they attack. I was going to be flickering that, like, you know, before combat. Oh, do we do it? I think we did it! Actually, I mean, honestly, all we needed was a land. No! Wait, let's see. So if I... Uh No. So close. 
So if I retort that, they take six, and I can play a new Viachino Pyromancer. Uh, yeah, we're two mana short. Ah, oh, if they just didn't have, if they just didn't have two pieces of interaction here, like two, uh, burnt, you know, removal spells. So if I let that resolve. we do here we can pyromancer hmm. we're gonna die by by one damage so I can flicker the trickster or no 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 yeah we're still good no it's but it's exactly five dang it because we could flicker the trickster tap the gore claw and then we, we block here, and then we take five trample, and we're at five. So I guess I don't need to show my opponent Justicer's Portal. Man, them killing my Tempest Caller. What is that? Maybe, so should I take out Deputy of Detention? Hmm. No, Deputy's kind of cool. No, Tyrant would not get bonus on attack because the... That 4-3 has to attack to game to give them the bonus, so we would tap the 4-3 so they wouldn't get the bonus. Man, we were so close. I thought we had that one. I would really like to draw a 2-drop here to fill our curve. But I don't want to mulligan this. Love it. Love it. Go, Pyromancer. That was the one I wanted, too. Perfect draw step. Ugh. Opponent have all this removal now. Cobb, we had to block the other creature, too. Our opponent had the 2-2 creature, also, that we had to block, as well. So I, I couldn't double block the Tyrant, because then the other creature hits me. Like, we would have tapped the 4-3, but they had a 4-3, a 2-2, and Carnage Tyrant. Copying exclusion mage is cool. Bounce that. life. That's the only life it can gain, though. Um... I think it's best just to attack and let them block. Put them down to four. Because... That's just a 3-2 that trades. Like, that thing's bigger. 
really hope they don't have a lightning strike here. Nice. If they would have lightning strike that in response, that would have been bad. Alright, that ETBs bounces their Gore Claw. And then we get our four in. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, Bearded Monkey. Alright, we got got the Got the win. Yeah, our other Pyromancer was tapped. Alright, one and one. Winner winner, chicken dinner. Just Guy Wizards doing its thing. It's silver lining. Alright, let's play first. Lucky. Alright, just need another blue source. Hey, Mr. Tatak. Welcome from France. Hey, McCarty. Happy Saturday, y'all. Need more blue. Take it. We got another one of those legends. I don't even think I really mind to use another removal spell on this Nabon. I don't think I really want to shock in for Storm Tamer. Well. Likely means we're not going to be able to counter their creatures. But we will be able to tap them with Trickster. All right, we'll go tap tap. Ooh, what a draw! What a draw! But now. We are getting tricky with it. So they activate their Hellkite. We can just sack the Storm Tamer. Fine. Kill my Storm Tamer. They were one point off of lethal. Oh! Oh! I need to do that! Ah. Uh, oh well. We can still kill them, but... Should have done that first. They, they're tapped out and everything. We still have lethal. But at least I, I didn't need one of my tricksters to die. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But. Should have. They were one point away. They, Of course, if they go to combat, I just tap off their things. But they had 17 damage there. 
Or no, they had 16. They had 16 damage with the double... If they would have double Colossus instead of double Collision. So it seems like another Exclusion Mage match. A bunch of Exclusion Mages and Coils and Tempest Caller. I kind of want to just do the same thing we did last time. Take out Storm Tamer, one Nabon, and two Portal. Okay, we got game one again against the green red deck. Can we tempo them out for another one? This will be the hard one. It'll be hard for us to win on the draw, but we'll see. Ugh. We're gonna need some more some more power. He's a Viachino Pyromancer. So even though we're on six cards, the opponent's on six cards as well. Thing is they are out a lot faster than us. I think it's smash. Oh, and I can't even cast this retort. I should have upkeep tapped the land war elf, probably. Hmm. Let's see if they have lightning strike. Well rewarded. For not upkeep tapping the Lanamore Elf. Um. Our opponent had nothing to play last turn. We probably don't have anything to play again this next turn. You know, last turn they had a Lanamore Elf, so they have like one less land. If I exclusion mate, if I just bounce the spellbreaker, they can just replay it with haste. So it doesn't really help us. Hey, Zexian, welcome back. Thank you so much for that resub there. Down to 76. Here. Four months of good content, Todd. Oh, thanks, Zexian. Can we draw a land? Love it. And we're going. And now we have the retort. They try to replay that Hellkite. And we counter it. Ooh. Journey Mage can do some damage. I should probably wait on the Journey Mage, honestly, because. Kind of the only way our opponent wins is Fiery Cannonade anyway. But there we go. Wizards getting another win. We call the deck win -erds. Hmm. I'll keep working on that. All right. Two and one. 
So we're good against green red creature decks. That's that's what that's the that's the uh, part of the metagame that we're going to want to be facing, the green red creature deck. Right, we would have had to right for Journey Mage to have its ETB effect. We would have had needed to play the Tempest Caller first or draw another wizard or something like that. Would have been a little tricky. But even just having the 3-2 afterwards without the effect, we, we kind of didn't really need to play it. Oh, ho, ho. I'm liking it. This could be the, the random green creature deck again. And we can deputy. We can, like, double deputy with Nibon out and then, like, double deputy again. We can have... Quad Deputy. Deputy sure is good against random creature deck without removal. So I'm, I'm liking where we're at here. Just hoping they don't have removal. So we'll take Steel Leaf and Pelt Collector. No lands. All right, let's go. Viashino Pyromancer. And then we have the Justicer's Portal available. attack here. If our opponent wants to trade, we get to attack for more later. We're kind of doing it, y'all. We're kind of doing it. Oh, sorry. To answer the question from earlier, yes, the Demir zombie mill deck should be up. I believe, yes, it is up on YouTube right now. Hold me closer, turn and dance. Bum, bum. All right, so we'll just go ahead and portal this thing. And then next turn we can we can pay the mana to have null hide. I mean our opponent's is dead, but you know we could tap both the creatures. So the reason why I'm calling it it's called zombie because with arcane adaptation you name zombies. You need to turn your creatures into zombies for like the combo. Uh, for Liliana to be able to recast the Chamber Sentry over and over again. All right, so Mono Green Stompy. Let's get Exclusion Mage Tempest. All right, so same, same thing. Out, 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 out. Done. Sun Scorch Champion. Wasn't that in? Wasn't that in Amonkhet? Are you talking about like the card with the eternal eyes? Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, that one rotated. Via Sheena. Nabin.
Well, Steel Leaf. Ooh, never mind. Got a lot less difficult to deal with. Suddenly. And uh, we're looking good, even with the Naban dying here, because we do have the retort. And I'm going to go ahead and shock in. You know, like, we're ahead and stuff. I'm going to shock in to play the Journey Mage and keep retort up. And, you know, I could just play Hyromancer and not have to take two. But this thing just attacks for one extra point of damage. And so I want it on the battlefield first. I think that, that it's worth it spending the two. Or like using two life for that. Harpooner is not a card I'm worried about. Because Harpooner only trades. Things that I'm worried about are things that... You know, like a one for one trade, it's, it's perfectly fine. Things I'd be worried about are things that don't just trade one for one. You know, like Feroxes and all sorts of other stuff. So being patient, I don't, like there's not really a reason to use these cards yet. We are still looking very good. Yeah. All right, I'll just tap that with the trickster. Oh, Sculpted Mind, I know, I know how you're saying. Like, I, I'm i pretty fortunate that I had a, a lot of gems on my account already, so I got to get some of the uh, 3D cards. But I, I just want all my cards this 3D effect. They're, they're all just so cool. even need our retort three and one but I also don't want to spend more money on arena so I have to keep on doing these and try to win a lot of gems I guess I could set up like a donation goal that if people want they can donate towards you know make donations where I I put the money on you know make uh, purchases with the gems to get more of them I could guess I could make like a an excel spreadsheet with like all the cards and like what we have what we have so far in the collection Saving your gems for war. I have... See, I have enough gold in the account. I have enough wild cards and gold for War of the Spark. So we're good there. So I can just spend all the gems on... Uh, on the cosmetics. So I probably should not be keeping this. Yeah. We need mulligan that. Alright, good mulligan. Yeah, that would be really nice if they could just if, if we could just use gold to be able to pay for cosmetic stuff too. I agree. I did get the fifteen dollar bundle. I got that. That was the one. That was the bundle I got. Okay, so Lesnia Gilgate Forest. This could be another creature deck with minimum removal. I don't think there would be an easy way to export all the, the just like the different cards that they have available onto an, ex an Excel sheet. I'd probably just type it out. 
you know, like just go to like the the collection and look at all the cards they have available and just type them all out. Oh, so this is just actually actual Gates deck. This is just regular old Gates. We have a four turn clock right now. I want to play something here, but I don't want to get rid of Wizards Retort. They're discarding Circuitous Route. Like, that's a card I need to counter. Thanks, Drowsy. Yeah, we, we already played the Demir Zombie Mill deck. It is up on the YouTube channel, though, now. If you ever miss any decks, make sure you head on over there for the replays. YouTube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. You can find the Demir Zombie Mill. It's already been uploaded. And that Wizard's Lightning is going to finish it off. We can also just not cast the Wizard's Lightning to not show them that. Yeah, I just don't even need to cast it. So... This is Gates. This is not just a regular creature deck. This one, where they're going to be playing their sweepers, their Gates of Blazes, which are going to be problematic. So one to Gates. I don't want a Johnny. I don't care for Storm Tamer. I don't. I think I want this Invoke the Divine because I don't. I don't really like Deputy because it dies pretty easily to like the Gates of Blazes. Um, do I want Exclusion Mage? Oh, that's cool, Millennium God. Good, good, good. Glad you're enjoying the uh, Mardu Angels. The problem is, like, Bouncing Krasis is pretty bad. I mean, they think it's better than anything else we got here. Lava Coil doesn't necessarily kill everything. The problem is we just can't save we just can't really save our deputy from Gates Ablaze. Like we have like Retort and Negate, that's it. But like let's just try this. I'm not I'm not sold on all these Justicers portals. Yeah, bouncing the zero cost gate colossus, but of course whenever they're at that point. It's kind of tough for us, also. Dep that's true. Deputy is good against Krasis. That's a good point there. We'll kind of play this game out. We'll see if I regret not having Deputy at attention. And I could certainly see cutting down on some of these Justicers portals. Bleh. They just have to mock me like that deck. <laughs> it's hard to mulligan, like... We're a three-color, 22-land deck, and we have good mana, and we have three lands, four spells. It's really hard to mulligan that, even though our it doesn't look great here, but we just kind of hope we draw some other spells. But our mana can certainly be really bad after we mulligan, so kind of keeping good mana and seeing how it plays out. Yeah, I, the last word I said was Justicer's Portal, so our, our deck was like, Justicer's Portal, here you go, here's a bunch of them. Alright, Nabon, good draw. 
This can deal four next turn. Good filler. Do your thing. Please don't ablaze. Let me keep attacking. Ooh, okay. Okay. Huh. So they definitely don't have gates ablaze. Problem, if I play Weaver here and then they do actually have a Blaze, it's a huge problem. Yeah, so each portal is 4 damage. Okay. So I think we kill our opponent, right? Because this is 4, 8, 12 in our hand right now. So I liked I liked just passing and, and not and my opponent not thinking that they were about to die. We still kill them? Yeah, we just exactly kill them. Should I do the GG? Nah, we don't need a GG. I have exact lethal. If I'm not miscounting this. There we go. We are four and one with Jeskai Wizards. That was pretty great. That was pretty great. Our opponent was thinking they were safe. They're like, oh, I'm at 17. That's so much life. All right, we get a final boss here with Jeskai Wizards. Let's go final boss playlist. Here we go. See those final boss emotes. No mono blue. We want to play creature decks that are not mono blue. I think I want to keep this, even though it's a 5 lander. We are at 22 lands. So we shouldn't be drawing any more lands. No, not at all, Millennium God, not at all. Not in the slightest. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we shouldn't draw lands. Draws land immediately. <laughs> so.
So basically right now I'm just trying to trade and not die. I'm trying to stay alive. I don't want to shock. If they wouldn't have played the banneret. I would have considered playing the Journey Mage just because, like, the, you know, the 3 2 blocks the 3 3. But they played the Banneret, so we get to block the Banneret here. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no problem. Awesome. Sounds good, Millennium God. Really can't draw any more lands. Really need a spell. Oh gosh. <laughs> Not really a three mana spell though. It's something that costs two that we could have double spelled would have been nice. Really, Enfi Wizard's Mill. If I block Judith, we go to one, and then our opponent can kill us with Fireblade Artist or Priest. Can't really block Judith. Three is pretty tough already. Gross. False our opponent just doesn't attack. Dang. They figured it out. It's like maybe they just never attack again the rest of the game. Or activate Priest. Either one. Alright, let's get the Cleric in here. Uh, not Invoke the Divine. Coil, absolutely... What's up, Hawkeye? Okay. We're going up here? Meow. We need your help, Hawkeye. We are facing the final boss. We need your help. There you go. Good. Good. Glad to hear that, Matthew. Fixed. Ready to go. What other two cards do I want to cut? I don't expect them to have a ton. They're going to have more removal here after board, honestly. Maybe we just get rid of Deputy. Like, we're bringing in Lava Coil also. I'll play, like, one Deputy. Hey, that's a good day. That's a lot of ice cream. All right, Hawkeye, we need your we need your powers. We need a good hand. All right, good enough. Probably just coil that thing.
then I don't have a coil for Judith. But I mean, I think that's worth it. Like, that 2 1 does a whole lot against me. And, you know, like, we're not, we're not, like, blocking the 2-1 profitably at all. I'd still Freebooter. Good thing we cast that Lava Coil. Tap that. So I want these Journey Mages to be triggering. I like where we're at this game. I like where we're at here. I think my opponent should not attack here, but then next turn attack with make a token and attack with war boss and token. Make that token a 2 2. And then I block this. That would have me blocking the war boss with the journey mage. Yeah, we finally got to the wizard's deck, and we are on the final boss. But we're down a game. Come on, opponent. Oh. Okay, you got me. Yep, sure can. Exclamation point MVMT movement. Get some awesome watches. This is my movement watch. This is the blue and brown. Usually it's on the retail on there for 110, but you can see Hawkeye scratched me today too. Just a little bit ago. But using my code, you get 15% off. Yeah, so the basically, if you can see, if you if you're on like, if it's easy for you to scroll to the info panel down below, there's a lot of like you can see like the information about quip, parries, me undies, and movement. You can do exclamation points and any of those for for them. They all all have a different thing. Um, MeUndies and Movement, you get 15% off your purchase with my referral link. Uh, Harry's, you get $5 off a starter set. So the starter sets are usually $13. If you sign up for a subscription, which is cancelable anytime, you get $5 off and it's only $8. And this is free shipping, by the way. It's very cheap. But then if you use my coupon code, ToddStevensMTG, as well, you get another five dollars off, and it's only three dollars to get the nice razor shave cream, like their starter set. Three dollars free shipping. We just had twenty people sign up for that yesterday, like twenty people total, and so we're doing a twelve-hour stream to celebrate that on Monday. And once we get another twenty people for that one, I that one's a little more because it is you know real cheap. It's it's a great deal, but I I don't get as much commission for that one. Uh, movements, the whole site. Watches, sunglasses, 15% off anything on the whole site. So trade those. Block here. We're taking five. Yeah, you love your Quip toothbrush? I do too, man. Dude, that Quip toothbrush is so nice. And also, you can get either free or cheaper donation decks. With Quip and Movement, those two companies, if you make a purchase through my referral link you get a a free donation deck so if you want if you have a deck like this uh jeskai wizards that we're playing right now that you'd like to see played 
You get free donation deck with these two. Two, four, six. Um, Harry's, you get half price of donation deck, so you get a donation deck for only ten dollars if you make the three. If you just get pick up the three dollar razor, and MeUndies, if you make a purchase there, you get a five dollar donation deck. All right, Hawkeye. What are we gonna do here? So they have, they have eight power right now on the battlefield. So if I, if I end up having to take, like swing back and everything, they can't quite kill me. No, it's basically lethal. All right, so they're doing the trades. Oh, uh, which that's bad for me. I, should, I guess I should have played this first. Crap. Yes. Now I'm not doing the two damage. I didn't want them that I didn't want them to have the information of like knowing that they'd be at two less life with blocking. And I wasn't honestly I wasn't exactly expecting them to double block there. <laughs> Hawkeye Hawkeye was kind of that way too for a long time. He was a real big scaredy cat and didn't really like people being around him very much, but he's older, he's I've been with, you know, he's been my cat for around like 10 or 11 years now, and uh, and now he's just wants to be pet all the time and everything. And and I, I'm not going to beat this Izareth. No, we're just dead. Like there's there's nothing in my in my deck I can draw right now that's any good. Like, if I make this block, I mean, I guess I make the block, maybe draw Lava Coil for Izareth, and go from there. <laughs> Portal. No, no Clarion or anything like that. Like, Lava Coil would have been my best card to draw. So, game over again. Final boss defeated us again, but still, after that, after the first match, you know, I was really skeptical about the deck and everything, but we did put up so a good showing there and had a lot better uh, games there the last few. So it turned out, it looked like our, our deck was pretty good, or pretty solid at least against kind of green creature decks. That's where we were... Uh, picking up our wins, uh, we played against a mono green and two red greens and got wins on all those because against the green creature decks, we just get like our little small creatures out. Kind of basically the game plan that we want, our small creatures in play and then use like Trickster and Water Trap Weaver and the Exclusion Mages from the sideboard were big and Deputy and just kind of mess up with their blocking and they never really get to block and, you know, copy those with Mirror Image, Flicker them. But all the while, we're just like chipping away and dealing damage like that. So, um, so yeah, so that was pretty cool. Overall, we're not a very powerful deck. We have a lot of, you know, cards that aren't necessarily too great, you know, like get to Journey Mage and Water Trap Weaver, and these cards are just not, not very powerful on their own, but they do have good synergy with the rest of the deck. So if we get, if we do curve out well, and our cards line up against the opponent. As you saw there, it's winning four out of six. We could certainly pick up some Ws here with the deck. But overall, if you play against a lot of like the stronger decks in the format, decks like Sultai, like I, I don't think we could ever beat Sultai kind of thing. That, that'd be really difficult for us to, to do. Uh, they ever gain life from Wild Growth Walker. That would be pretty tough. And, you know, like the removal spells, like cards like Hostage Taker and... Ch Chupacabra and stuff like that is pretty tough. And we saw that like Mono Blue is a very similar type of deck, but just kind of doing the same kind of thing, but um, a lot more efficient. And they had the card advantage. That's the one. That's basically the thing that we're missing is the card advantage. But that's okay. You don't don't always get to play everything. Um, I think I like. I think I'd rather have three Nabons instead of four. Yes. With this being a legendary card, and then 
even like having water trap weaver tap two things it's okay but it's not spec you know it's not it's not completely necessary but yeah i think i would start with like three of these instead of four the the pyromancers and, and journey mage was pretty sweet with the portal with that you know being able to deal four damage that's a lot you know like we're an aggressive deck dealing being able to deal a lot for four damage is really nice the storm tamer didn't really i wasn't I wasn't really in love with those. Like, that's kind of an underpower card that we didn't... Like, this deck doesn't really take advantage of... Of, uh... Like, making it larger and making it a real clock or anything like that. Um, we didn't really get to use the Ajani's in the sideboard. Could even see something like Teferi being a sideboard card. Teferi costs a little bit more, though. But it definitely, definitely was more impressive after the first match. You know, we got to play some, some good games and everything. And, and there we go. So thank you very much, Night Owl, for the donation deck here with the Jeskai Wizards. I always like playing new, new decks. And so, you know, I would not not have really ever seen the interaction between Nabon, uh, Get to Journey Mage, and Justicer's Portal uh, being able to just, you know, mow down a Gates player like we did there whenever they're at 17 passing with us having five power on the board thinking they're okay and we're just like no portal take four portal take four untap attack for five another journey mage take another four and that was 17 and they were dead so that was really nice but uh there we go so if you're watching this video later on on youtube don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there thanks for watching and i'll see you for the next video